Anywhere where you're trying to grow plants more effectively is our technology would find a home. It came from a research program at the University of Alberta where we were trying to make advanced test instruments for improving solar cells. So it didn't start with cannabis growth as the application and the point of the company is to address the food crisis that's coming in 2050, right? And so what we want to do is make it more process engineerable and improve the outcomes for different crops. Right. Under the current switch to legalization for medical cannabis, uh, it's a very attractive market for us because those guys are early adopters of a lot of technology. Right? And so what we offer is also suited for that marketplace. We have this hardware component that is a series of different uh, colors effectively of light we can individually control. Uh, and then we have software and firmware behind that that allows us to um, specifically set and mimic and tune and create recipes around that spectral control. So it really is a tool that you can use to match your plant and your environment to the outcomes that you're looking for. For, for some growers, that's maximizing yield. They're just looking for raw, um, sheer volume of whatever they're producing. For other growers, that's maximizing a chemical content. So in fruits and vegetables, this might be antioxidants, which are impacted by the environment it's grown in. Or in the case of cannabis, uh, things like THC, CBD, and different uh, terpene compounds inside that plant. Uh, there's also things like reducing the time to harvest, um, and so basically by putting a combination of different growing conditions and spectra together, you're able to steer towards one of those different goals by triggering uh, the plant physiology.